Hello, I'm Rod McClintock. If you want to talk high temperatures, they don't come much hotter than the surface of the sun, which is where my colleague Dennis is currently located. You see, Dennis is currently conducting a technical experiment to see if mobile grease can... Oh, you've got to be. Hey, Rad, just catching a few rays. Oh, still there when I shut my eyes. No problem, Rod, I'll take over. Now, I want you to imagine that this sun is a piece of high temperature equipment, and I'm one of the bearings in that equipment. Given how round your stomach is, that shouldn't be too difficult. You need grease that can handle this incredibly high temperature out here, right? Wrong. It's not about the temperature of the environment or even the equipment. It's about the temperature of the bearings inside that equipment. Mind if I join you, Rod? I'm getting a little toasty out here. Chafing, chafing, chafing. Why did I look up? You see, much like a bearing inside a piece of high temperature equipment, Dennis now needs mobile grease to function effectively. Because mobile grease retains its structural stability, even in high temperature conditions, thanks to the balanced formulation of its components. Yeah, we prefer the term molecules. Please hurry. Help! But even with the right grease, you've got to make sure you don't over-grease, like these greasers sometimes do. Uh, Houston, we have a problem! <laughs> you see, over-greasing costs more, and can cause all kinds of housekeeping, environmental, and safety issues due to a buildup of excess grease. What excess grease? <laughs> But don't worry, our mobile serve engineers will help you make sure you get the right amount of the right grease at the right time to reduce equipment failure and unscheduled downtime. All you need to do is ask for the grease. Can I ask for a towel? Nope, just the grease. If you want to find out more about how mobile grease performs in high temperature environments, head over to the mobile website here or click here to watch more mobile grease episodes.